Gang, Trey Platt here with a quick little video today on tips for drinking cheap in Las Vegas. Now, I was recently talking to a friend of mine, and we were talking about just things we would tell, you know, tourists and first-timers coming to Vegas. And so that was kind of the idea for this particular video. Uh, I know times are uh, tough out there. Things have gotten expensive. I remember 25 years ago when I first started coming to Vegas, man, you could have a real, if you didn't gamble and you just wanted to, drink and have you know fun with your friends you could have a good time fairly cheap on the strip unfortunately those days are gone but you could still save money while drinking on the strip with these five different tips let's start with tip number one um liquor stores this is more this tips more for people who are doing kind of a, the group thing you know the, the guys coming out for the bachelor party or someone's birthday party graduation what have you Kind of more for a group sitting, but if you're going to have, you know, a group of people come out, most likely you're going to do a little pre-gaming in the room, and the cheapest way to do that is to uh, actually take a short cab ride, Uber ride to a nearby liquor store. Now, in the casinos, they have gift shops. They'll sell you a bottle of Tito's or a bottle of wine, but you will pay accordingly. Uh, your next step would obviously be, well, they have Walgreens and CVS's, but they're on the strip too. They pay strip rent and they pass that cost on to you. So again, if you're going to have a few friends out, you maybe want to pitch in together by a handle of Tito's or Jack Daniels, maybe a case of beer, some champagne, it's probably worth the short cab or Uber ride to a liquor store off the strip. Now here in Las Vegas, the major chain is Lee's Discount Liquor. There are several locations not far off the strip. Uh, probably the, the best location, this is not an endorsement, but South Mandalay Bay, a couple of miles on Las Vegas Boulevard, is a Total Wine and Spirits. They're a big national chain of liquor stores. That location particularly is a large location with great selection. Like I said, it's just down the road. And again, if you're going to you know, kind of do some pre-gaming, it is well worth the short trip to the liquor store. Number two, BYORB. Bring your own Red Bull. I know people today love to drink vodka Red Bulls, Vegas bombs, whatever you. People love Red Bull uh, in their cocktails, and the Strip knows that. Uh, for the most part, not speaking to every casino, but for the most part, in the major casinos on the Strip, if you want, let's say, a Tito's and Red Bull, they're going to upcharge you for that Red Bull, usually around 4 to $5, and you do not get the whole can of Red Bull. You get roughly about half. So that makes that can of Red Bull roughly an $8 to $10 can of Red Bull. I think you can do the math. You're probably better off, again, if you're, you and your friends are going to drink a lot of these, these vodka Red Bulls, you're probably best off getting a four-pack either at a convenience store on the Strip or at a liquor store per se and just taking your own Red Bull with you, going to the bar, give me a, just an absolute on the rocks, Go on your merry way, add the Red Bull, and take the party. But they do have quite a markup of Red Bull on the Strip. Uh, number three is getting off the Strip. Uh, the Strip is just the most exp expensive section in Las Vegas. And if you stay on the Strip, you're going to pay for it. But if you've seen any of my videos in the Vegas' Best Bar series, you know that there are several bars not too far off the strip even one or two kind of on the strip that give you great value uh, around mid strip where flamingo and las vegas boulevard meets you have the bellagio caesars cromwell horseshoe that intersection if you go east just a little bit on flamingo literally just a couple hundred yards you're going to find great value you'll find the tuscany you'll find ellis island which is right behind the horseshoe and right behind the Cromwell is the world-famous Stage Door Lounge, the absolute cheapest place in town to drink. Uh, also, too, uh, in comparison, downtown, the old Fremont Street area, is going to be vastly cheaper than the Strip. It's a little higher than the rest of the town, you know, like Stage Door, Ellis Island, but it's still more value than on the Strip. So if you want to save a few bucks, sometimes it's worth the short walk or, again, the Uber ride downtown. Uh, number four is actually, this is going to sound counterintuitive, but the gift shop in most of your hotels. Now, the two major chains, casino chains here in Vegas, are MGM Resorts International and Caesars. And both of them do a variation of this in their gift shops. Now, if you go by 
a bottle of wine or a bottle of spirits, they mark you up. But they all have specials on 24-ounce cans of beers. Forgive me. Sorry about that. On 24-ounce cans of beers. I'll give you a good example. You walk into the generic you know, lobby bar, casino bar, in these casinos and order any domestic Bud Coors Miller, and you're going to pay anywhere roughly $8 to $10 for a 12-ounce beer. But in the gift shops, you can generally buy that same beer, but in a 24-ounce can for the same price. So basically, you're getting two for one. Now, MGM Resorts International does something that I'm stunned their beverage uh, management allows happen. From what I gather, that's not the sharpest crew in the world anyway. So, but at MGM Resorts Casinos, you could go into their gift shops, get two 24-ounce cans, and they say it's two cans and you get a free shot. What it is is a 50-milliliter bottle of, I think it's Jose Cuervo, Jack Daniels, Fireball, and maybe Jack Honey are, are the choices there. To give a real-world example, let's say you're at New York, New York. You walk into a generic casino bar, order a Unibuddy, order two Coors Lights. You're probably going to play tw close to 20 bucks, and if not, whatever the buck or two change you get, well, you're going to give it to the bartender. So for basically 20 bucks, two beer, two 12 ounce beers with tip, like I said, is 20 dollars. That same 20 dollars you can take to the gift shop, buy two 24 ounce beers, four beers, and get a free little mini bottle of Fireball or whatever. That's value. Uh, and your your last tip, number five, is going mobile. Remember, you can take drinks on the strip. You can walk around with drinks. Now, no glass. You know, if you're having a cocktail at the bar, like in a martini, make sure they put it in a plastic cup, but you can go mobile. Where this is valuable is, let's say you want to check out one of the nicer casinos, the resort worlds, your Arias, your Wins. They generally have a neighbor that does not have an expensive drink. Perfect example is across the street from Aria is Plant Hollywood. They have a couple of bars in there and do some real good value. You can take a cocktail over there to Aria. Or, my favorite, is just south of the Venetian is Casino Royale. At one time, one of the cheaper places to drink, and still are, they were home to the dollar Michelob. Forever and ever and ever, they sold more Michelobes than any place in the country. And you could get a dollar Michelob, and I would go in there when I first moved to town, buy three, give the bartender a five, and she'd be like, oh, thanks, Mr. Big. Take my three beers, then go to the Venetian, because I know their <laughs> prices, and I can walk around the Venetian and have a good time triple-handed. So uh, remember, you can go mobile with your drinks. Lastly, a bonus tip is to tip. Take care of your bartenders and cocktail waitresses. They will take care of you. Uh, I know some people uh, feel like, why should I need to tip? You know, it's their job. Good luck with that. Uh, I know some people, if you're from overseas, Europe, what have you, like, oh, we don't do the tipping thing. Good luck with that. You're going to save, again, if you're in Vegas to drink and have a good time, you're going to save money taking care of your cocktail waitresses and bartenders. Good example is if you're playing blackjack, you order Jack and Coke, it's complimentary, so you're getting a free drink. Remember, that drink at the bar is probably $15. It's worth giving the young lady an extra buck or two to make sure she's happy and she brings it back to you. Little tip, if you throw her a five the first time, I guarantee she'll be back a lot faster, and that next one might accidentally be a double. So take care of your bartender and cocktail waiters. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for videos, please leave me in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.